The exact same thing happens every time I have Pringles. Hmm, this tastes like ash if ash tasted like moldy cardboard. It is fact that the Pringles seasoning has the same flavor profile as the dried up soup that's left on a spoon from a week ago. And they smell like opening the plastic box of a boot like anime figurine. Yay, Naruto! Yet Pringles is one of the most lucrative chips in the business. And once you pop, you can't stop. How come if they're not really that good? Well, today on the Poopy Show, we learned that Pringles are actually not good on purpose. And that's how they get you. And don't worry, I'll run you through why the Pringles man is manipulated to keen on fraud and should be incarcerated for his crimes. But before I do, I think we all saw this coming. Thanks to your support, the Poopy Show got its first sponsor. Oh yeah, I'm talking about NordVPN. There we go. I was pretty stoked when they contacted me because I already use it and I know what it is. I've been living in the UK for six years now and it's pretty miserable here with the weather and the fact that none of my favorite Bulgarian shows are available here. No. But since I've been using NordVPN, I can switch my location to the Balkans and have all my cool shows back. Of course, I can pick thousands of servers, but I still choose here. Deba. And I've used other VPNs before, but they sure took their sweet time connecting. I was genuinely surprised when I first used Nord because all this time I thought it was my old ass laptop that was being slow. <laughs> now I have all these amazing features on multiple devices. Jealous? Well, for a limited time, if you click my link, you can only do this from my link, you can get Nord VPN too with a huge discount. Four months free and up to 20 gigabytes of data from Sadie's eSIM. So you can call your mom and tell her to go get a VPN so no suspicious individuals can track her IP. You don't want people tracking your mom's IP, do ya? So again, click my link in the description or pinned comment to get this deal on NordVPN. If not for yourself, then for your dear mother. It has a 30 day money back guarantee in case she still can't use her laptop. But you definitely need it. Bye. You need it. You need it. You know, I feel so legit saying this. I'm so happy to get my first sponsor. It's like I graduated YouTube school. So thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now on to Pringles, which do not get my five star endorsement. Let's start with defining what Pringles are because they're not potato chips. Surely for something to be a potato chip, potato needs to be at least a 51% shareholder. A Pringle is only 42% potato. So if anything, it's a wheat starch chip. Or in other words, a biscuit. That's right, a Pringle has more in common with a body of Christ wafer than an actual good chip. But why is this important? Well, because the company that makes them actually tried to argue it's in court against His Majesty's revenue and customs. Good morning, good. Their big brain claim was that they're not a crisp but a general foodstuff, aka bread and should not be subject to VAT. But of course the judge ruled, nah dude, you tripping. And this case proved three things. Pringles themselves agree that they're a dismally subpar snack. And every can of Pringles is 30% air of dishonesty and 70% not potato chip. But don't you why you eat so many of them regardless of that. Hint, it's not their amazing flavor, no matter how many of those they try and pump out. The Pringle is not a potato chip, but it is a hyperbolic paraboloid. A shape which is self-centering so it's easy to stack up, but more importantly, it never breaks symmetrically so you get a different crunch each time, which is scientifically proven to be satisfying. Yes, the sound produced from chewing food affects the taste. Of course, that's just according to the papers these nerds made. I conducted my own experiment in order to measure the crunch of Pringles. See, humans enjoy crunch at around 63 decibels. Let's see if Pringles measures up. Delicious. It's not exactly clear why we like crunch so much. It could be several factors, such as the fact that humans associate crunch with freshness. Fresh means more vitamins in terms of food, and vitamins good, so Pringles good, but no, Pringles bad. Well, let me just have 20 more. Additionally, crunching into something is theorized to release aggression which feels good. And we've come to expect it from most snacks. But when eating something like crisps or chocolates, what your body expects is nutrition. Something with such a high content of fat must be incredibly nutritious, your body might think. But obviously this little sliver of sodium coated regret has none to offer and you keep reaching inside the can again and again in hopes of getting something that's just not there. Also we all know that salt, sugar and fat are addictive and not in the quirky oh my god I'm addicted to Pinterest kind of way but in the harmful physical I'm addicted to cocaine type of way. Because like cocaine they release opioids and dopamine in our bodies. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter part of our reward circuit 
Yes, you do get a high from eating a lot of sugar. And when your brain adjusts to release less dopamine because you're just in your living room eating biscuits, you eat more and more to reach that high again. And here's something interesting about Pringles. They have less salt than other chip brands, which is good, but doesn't magically transform a chip into a celery stalk. And Pringles more than make up for that by having the most sugar and saturated fats, which are both arguably the worst and the most addictive. And while not only is it more addictive, it's just not as flavorful. More times than not, you eat the whole tub to be satisfied, and this is intentional. I mean, why is flavoring only on one side of the chip that can never break evenly and can never fully coat your tongue? Every aspect of this product is designed not to be a good chip, but to make you want more. And then you go to the store and think, oh, I always have a ton of these, so I must like them, instead of going for a bag of Lay's like a good little fiend. Again, by the way, this video is sponsored by NordVPN, not Lay's. And so on to this week's question. Do you really genuinely like the flavor of Pringles and feel satisfied after eating them? Answer honestly. And again, if you want a VPN that, unlike Pringles, will satisfy your encryption needs and location cravings, click my link to download Nord. Okay, bye.